here we are. This is the GAN, an iconic bucket list experience of which every Australian dreams. In October 1861, determined Scottish explorer John McDool Stewart began his third attempt to cross the Australian continent from south to north. In July 1862, he became the first European to complete that challenge. He would die two years later of ill health caused by the intolerable conditions he endured to achieve his goal. In 1872, the construction of the Overland Telegraph following Stewart's trail across the continent was completed. It was described as the greatest engineering feat carried out in 19th century Australia. Australia's isolation from newsworthy events from the rest of the world was ended. Then, in 1878, the construction of a railway that would eventually reach the city of Darwin began and hauling the supplies and resources were camels and their cameliers, many of which came from Afghanistan. I wonder what John McDool Stewart would have thought had he known that one day a luxurious train journey would follow in his footsteps across the inhospitable interior of Australia and become one of the most renowned train journeys in the world. As soon as the GAN picks up speed out of Darwin, you truly feel like you are retracing the route of the Afghan Cameliers who travelled this route 150 years ago. Over four days, you will travel over a vast landscape, enjoying a sense of luxury those cameliers could never have dreamt of. You'll meet and chat with fellow passengers in a lounge car, and later dress up for dinner in a restaurant car. Our first excursion away from the train is at Nipmaluk Gorge, formerly called Catherine Gorge. While we had been out on our excursion, 
the housekeeping fairies came to our compartment to turn it from a day-sitting compartment to a sleeping compartment. There's a cute ladder for whoever is on the top bunk and a little chocolate treat. Well, being rocked to sleep through the night is quite the experience. We're ready for our breakfast as we head towards Alice Springs. Our off-train excursion is a cultural walk with an Aboriginal Arundi guide through Stanley Chasm. These are the McDonnell Ranges. The mountain range contains many spectacular gaps and gorges, like Stanley Chasm, which is a magnificent gorge in the West McDonnell Ranges, 40 minutes drive from Alice Springs. Tonight, our dinner is off train at the Alice Springs Telegraph Station Historical Reserve, and it is a feast in more ways than one. Sunset scenery, a barbecue, live music, stargazing, camel rides, dancing, drinks flowing, and even bonfires to toast your own marshmallows, along with free rain to explore the historical station to learn about its importance in creating the first communication between Australia's South and the world. A new day and a new excursion, this time to one of the most unique places on the planet, I quote from Lonely Planet to describe Kubapedi. Kubapedi. Coming into Kubapedi, the dry, barren desert suddenly becomes riddled with holes and piles of dirt, reputedly more than a million around the township. The reason for all this rabid digging is opals, the fire in the stone, which have made this small town a mining mecca. It's also a tourist mecca, believe it or not, with swarms of flies, no trees, 50 degrees C summer heat. The surrounding desert is jaw-droppingly desolate, a fact not overlooked by international filmmakers who've come here to shoot end-of-the-world epics like Mad Max, Red Planet, Ground Zero, Pitch Black and the slightly more believable Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Few people make their living solely from mining here, so there's a lot of career diversification. This means the dude who drives the shuttle bus to the airport also loads the baggage onto the plane, mans the hotel reception desk and works his opal claim on weekends, so he can retire from his other jobs. Around 50% of the town's population live underground, where temperatures remain comfortably between 19 and 25 degrees Celsius. A special treat 
awaits us at the bottom of this passage. It's a spectacular Greek-inspired underground lunch. And with a hearty lunch under your belt, it's time now to pick up a hammer and have a go at mining some opals for yourself. Good luck with that. And would you believe it, there is a local golf club. But keep off the grass. to the train and some refreshing drinks before boarding. After a sunset meal, we are rocked to sleep for the last time. When the new day arrives, we discover that we are surrounded by fields of barley. We are approaching Adelaide. We have our last breakfast. When our journey is over, we will have crossed the continent of Australia from north to south. Might I suggest a fitting ending to this journey, a pilgrimage to Victoria Square in Adelaide to salute the indefatigable John McDool Stewart, whose footsteps we have traced. So, is the GAN a worthwhile experience? Yes, add it to your bucket list. <laughs>